After months of restrictions to contain the spread of COVID-19 pandemic, European Union has slowly restarted to reopen its internal external borders. Just last week, the Croatian presidency has been able to break the deadlock in the Council, lifting the ban on non-essential travel inside the European Union. It follows with the first list of 15 safe third countries. Nevertheless, differences in implementation of proposed measures between the member states remain. We know that tourism and the travel will most likely not return to normal anytime soon. Touristic operators are facing an unprecedented economic crisis. Up to 6.4 million of jobs are at stake in the European Union. I come from Croatia, a touristic destination in which tourism generated almost 20% of overall GDP in 2018. I do understand the consequences of the crisis on overall national and European economy. As the president of the Syrica Intergroup, I reiterate the commitment of its members to defend the maritime and touristic sector's needs. We need to preserve its strategic role during and after the crisis. We have to ensure adequate funding to help these sectors to overcome the crisis. We also have to use the crisis to shift from over tourism to sustainable tourism. This is why the European Parliament is calling for additional measures to save the European Union's tourism and travel sectors and make it future-proof after the COVID-19 crisis. We need urgent short-term financing to avoid job losses and bankrupting of business in transport, culture and tourism sector. Moreover, we call for the separate budget line on sustainable tourism in the new MFF that is currently missing. New European Union financial programs have to reflect the importance of promoting sustainable tourism. They have to contribute to job creation, protection and restoration of natural ecosystems and biodiversity, plus growth and competitiveness by building on the new business models. European Union needs a shift towards more sustainable, innovative, resilient and high-quality tourism products and services. This would further contribute to sustainability, out-of-season travel and geographical dispersion of tourism flows. Finally, European Union must ensure proportionate funding opportunities to finance a long-term strategy for recovery that puts digitalization and sustainability at its core. Thank you for your attention.